Video games. What once was considered a fad has risen to become one of the biggest entertainment mediums worldwide, and they are positioned to become even bigger with the rise of esports. Join the 6ABC Discovery team as we press start on this journey through the history of competitive gaming. Since the beginning of arcade games, achieving the highest score was a staple of classics such as Space Invaders, Donkey Kong, and Pac-Man. Crowds would gather around as players tried to survive long enough to have their initials entered onto the machine's high score screen. This high score struggle became the basis of a documentary titled King of Kong. In the film, gamers Billy Mitchell and Steve Weeb repeatedly broke each other's world record scores on the original Donkey Kong arcade machine. As technology advanced, the big arcade cabinets transformed into smaller game consoles that became a fixture in homes. Players were free to experiment more and find new challenges, leading to a new way to play called speedrunning. In these competitions, players attempted to complete games in record-breaking time. These attempts were uploaded and shared online, which helped to grow a worldwide community around them. These online communities continued to grow alongside the internet, which led to exposure and popularity for the gaming community. Game companies began to notice, and developers began including more multiplayer elements in their games. Soon, gamers were able to live stream their matches directly to websites, including YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and Twitter, reaching thousands of new fans. As online gaming's popularity grew, worldwide tournaments were created for players to compete in and fans to cheer on their favorite players. One of the most popular tournaments has been the Evolution Championship Series, or EVO, which focuses solely on fighting games. The tournament attracts players from all over the world to Las Vegas every year. Competitors showcase their lightning-fast skills in games such as Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, and Super Smash Bros. Other major tournaments around the world include DreamHack, the International Esports Federation, and Major League Gaming. Game companies have developed leagues based around their own popular games, including Valve's The International, Activision's Call of Duty World League, and the Pokemon Company International's World Championship. If you'd like to join the action, there are plenty of teams to root and cheer for right here in Philly. Two of the more successful teams are the Philadelphia Fusion, who play in the Overwatch League, and Team Dignitas, a team owned by the Philadelphia 76ers. You can watch their matches online or on ESPN and Disney XD. Locally, these high schools offer varsity-level esports teams for students. And if your school doesn't offer esports, or you are no longer in high school, don't worry, you can find a local esports hangout like North 3rd Street Gamers to join in on the fun. Localhost Arena, we are a, we're, we're really just a community is what we are. We, we cater to all of them, whether you're into fighting games, whether you're into shooters, into MOBAs, into RTSs, Fortnite, whatever. This is just the hub for all those people that either have a competitive nature to them, want to learn, break into esports, or just have a fun spot, that share that passion, that love for video games that we all have, to just join together and have a good time. And that is game over for our trip through the world of esports. Thanks for joining 6ABC Discovery, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.